Always waiting for e-money. Always waiting for e-money. <laughs> come on, e-money, come out. What if I give you a stack of cash? E-Money's been laying down some sod. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Good job, E-Money. Nice. Oh, man. I wasn't sure if we are going to be recording right now. Bro, that thing's like... And my freaking rods and cones. It's in your rods and cones, man. <laughs> Win, Welcome man. to the ride along. I'm the Bonafide Hustler and this is E-Money here. And we are going to go garage shilling today. I think it's going to be great. We have a good list planned. You're going to come with us. Let's go. good cheddar what's up guys welcome to my channel and the ride along has started the first garage sale is coming up huh it's on this street it's on this street it's getting close okay. man this guy's like look you can visualize the cheddar he is blowing he's blowing, blowing the, cheddar the cheddar off man bro save us some a little cheddar duster all right we're looking at the uh the art sale treasure map right here take a left it should be around here somewhere looking for a garage sale around here Man, we just like started and it's like action time already, man. That's how the Bonafide Hustler videos are. So it's a beautiful day today. We're going to be garage sailing for about mm, close to four hours or something. And uh, hope to find some really good treasures. This one right here uh, has some interesting uh, lingo. Golf clubs and balls, cookware, collectibles, glassware, coolers, books, clothes, electronics, baseball cards, Magic the Gathering. Okay, that's pretty interesting. DVDs, puzzles, and board games. So um, that's what we're looking at right now. 11107. Oh, you see it? Oh, yeah, we just totally passed it. It was like right here. Man, we just scored already. First thing in the morning. Bam! These guys even said it got. They said someone came before us and asked about video games and stuff. See, that's the thing. That's the reason why you don't want to be like super pigeonholed in like something like video games or bikes or something like that you got to expand because this thing was left behind right here and same with something that I'm about to show you but this is a kata bag camera bag hold on let's get that layout kata right there we've talked about these in our videos in the past yep. and didn't you sell one back in the I think day my last one sold for 80 80 yeah, yeah. it was in really really good, good condition this one is probably gonna go for 40 50 bucks 40 50 bucks right there camera bag right there my last kata sold for 109.99 it was like a five dollar find in a garage sale <laughs> I'm serious man <laughs> I remember that one. All right, so my two finds are in this right here. These are, I don't know how you spell it, like Ronald Dinho or Ronald Dinho, something like that. Um, but these are uh, really amazing Ronald Dinho edition Nike soccer cleats, like all leather. The Ronald Dinho right there. Cool. Pretty neat, Let's get huh? His signature in there. Yeah, so these right here, uh, I think I'm considerably looking at about 70 to 110 a piece. And I got two of them, um, one with screw-on cleats and one without screw-on cleats um, for, or these, whatever these things are called. I think they're called cleats, whatever. Um, I got two for 15, so that was pretty good. And they're mint. They have their bags and everything. Definitely collector's type uh, soccer shoes. I got two of them. And they're two different variants as well. They're not the same shoe. And look at this bag. Even the bag is badass. Look at that Nike bag with the stitching right there. Which I think that would be, is that Spain or Germany? Nike football. Football? I don't know. Who's yeah. this Ronald guy? Yeah, who the hell is this Ronald? <laughs> okay. Ronald Who's this McDonald? Ronald Denho person? <laughs> I have no idea, man. Who cares? <laughs> oh my god, funniest thing just happened. No person way. pulled out of his spot no and way. hit a trash can, dude. No! You hit a trash can, and the two people at the garage sale started cracking up, Dan. They were dying laughing. Dude, I like annihilated that thing. Yeah, you totally tacoma it. Hey, oh. dude, park your car. You gotta check it I'm out. I'm look right here. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. I couldn't see it because my truck is too so tall. Oh yeah, true. Like super heavy. Right, we gotta see if you're if you damage like your a truck. Freaking gopher. Let's go see. Alright, first of all I gotta get his reaction. <gasps> what? Nothing yay! Nothing yay! Ooh. 
Oh, no, it didn't hit that. Did I it? think it did. No? Anything? No, if anything, it was probably this. Anything? No, that's nothing. Oh, yeah, it's like, no, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I suspect something's wrong with your car. <laughs> He's all paranoid. He's super paranoid. Oh, thank you. You know what what would have been the worst? Uh as if your bumper fell off? No, as if that happened and a bunch of trash came on my truck. <laughs> <laughs> and your bumper fell off. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. New Dopio we might be trying? No. <gasps> what time is this place open? Saturday. Does it say 7.30? What time is it? Oh, shoot. I think it says 7. Hold on, let me make sure. Because if we can try a new Dopio, that would be epic. Hold on. It says 7.30. We don't have that time. It's not time yet. It's 7.18. I know. Actually, it's bike rack time. Oh, who, who opens at the 30 mark? I don't that's know, like, but I that's like 8.47 in the morning we're going to open. Like it says 7.30 on their hours of operation. Guys, if you own a brick no, and mortar store, don't do that stuff. That's stupid. Stick with like, you know, yeah. Dude, you hit that freaking trash can like a Ronald Denho. <laughs> <laughs> you totally Ronald Denho. <laughs> you totally Ronald Denho that freaking trash can, dude. I don't even know if that's good or bad. I have no idea either. It we sounds know. freaking hilarious though. Proceed to the list. Stick with the list. Unless otherwise. Oh, wait a minute. Sinclair? Uh oh, Sinclair just came up just now. Tools, old hardware, fishing rods, office supplies, kids stuff, gifts, small safe. Uh, maybe. I'm not so into that, but fishing rods could be kind of cool. Kids stuff could be everything, man. Kids stuff. Dude, think if you're like an old adult, kid stuff could be like, ah, oh, it's just kid stuff, stupid Nintendo things, and all their Pokemon plushes, and all this stuff. And... Dude, this day has got some cheddar beaming down. Look at that. First stop of the morning, man, and just hit us. And I'm like five and a half hours of sleep, but I'm still, still bringing the heat, man. Hey, is this cheddar hitting you like a Ronald Denho? Man. Yeah, totally Ronald did hold by that cheddar for right there. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it, means something, it means something really crazy, man. Where to? Uh, it's on Shola. Uh, hold on, hold on. There's, there it is. There's an Russia right there. Gosh. Back up. I don't know about this. Dude, go oh. up there. Who is it? I don't remember this guy. This guy's yeah, weird. Yeah, that guy is weird. I don't know if there's some hunters. I don't know. There's some boots here. All right, we didn't find anything at that garage sale. There was a skateboard that was literally the size of my foot. That was so small, wasn't it? It was the smallest skateboard on earth, like literally like death imminent skateboard. Hey, so we are on our way down now to just knock out a good, good dopio. Dude, this, this sun, I'm telling you, I can't, I can't even take it, dude. I must put on the specs. Uh, so we are gonna go get the dopio and then our next garage sale is like up. Know, like a mile in that direction over there so I'm trying to be smart about it hey guys question for you down below I always read my comments I can't get back to all of them but where are you guys from let me know now let's get this are you ready yeah how many Ronald Denho's do you think this will be <laughs> it's a four it's a four Ronald Denho it's a four. what is Ronald Denho like who I, is Ronald okay Denho? here get your Google here get out Google right, hold, on, hold on hold on I think it's a turn, dude. Turn, turn it off, turn it off, turn off your phone. No. Turn off your phone. Okay. No, like turn it off. Why? Okay, you ready? Hold on, put, put, put it down. Dude, you're a dork. No, put, put it down. Okay. All right. Fastest person that can search Ronald Denho. Well, I have a camera in my other hand. Ready? What do you mean, ready? Well, you have two hands on you. Set it down. Ronald Denho. <laughs> we don't this even guy. know if this is the right name. Anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? ready? One, no, you have to go right here. Ready? Two. We could go like this. Ready? Mm -hmm. And go. Okay. Ronald Dinho. Oh, suck. Oh, dude, that was my messages. No! He is a soccer player. He's a soccer player. <laughs> He's 5'11. He's number 80. 80. I'll be yeah, so, so he is. Okay, so. Oh, but it's one name. I thought it was like two names. 
Okay. His Ro name is Ronald Dinho. No, his name his name his name is Ronald Ronaldo de Assis Moreira 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 Moreira, yeah. commonly known, known as, as Ronald, Ronald Dinho. Okay, so that's who Ronald Dinho is. Professional footballer and ambassador for Spanish club. I don't know. It's a cool name, man. Like, I'm gonna get two Ronald Dinhos in here. All right, come on. All right. Ronald Dinho. That's Ronald Dinho. We don't follow. We don't follow soccer. Like we don't. We follow cheddar. That's what we do, man. Damn, dude, you could have just built the fence the right way, man. All right, let's get into Thunderbird, man. Take two Delpio espressos to go. Well, cool. You get a sandwich, man. Yes. Let's do it, man. All right. Oh, we got Delpios from Thunderbird. So these are called oh, the Troublemaker. God. This smells so smell good. Fantastic. Just smelling it, like it smells so much better than pretty much almost every other Dopio in town, but it's so good. Guys, look, get out there, get yourself a Dopio, and uh, let me know if you consume Dopios down below. Let me know if you've even had one. Like you gotta have Dopios, they're so freaking good, dude. All right, cheers. Cheers. Bang. It was. No, bang would be like, no, that it's pretty good. I'm telling ah! ah! Man, that is a four uh this is a maker. four for sure. Oh my god. Like sour and very like almost like pungent at the end. It's so good. Oh my god, this is this is good. This is like I don't know, like some of those other dopios are like rogue, right? This crap so is like good. beluga caviar, so man. Good. This is sturgeon caviar right here. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. I don't even know how much these things are. What are they? Like 250? 275? Yeah, 250. Close to three bucks a piece. Man. This is this so is worth it. it. You can go to Starbucks and get a dopio for two dollars and eleven cents, right? At least here in Austin you can. You couldn't even compare the difference once you put another 50 cents on that. Come here, get a Dopio. It's so much better, infinitely better. You Amazing. Be spending more money on good stuff. Oh, that was good. You ready to get some cheddar? Huh? Yes, I am that now I'm really ready. I'm pumped up, man. I'm pumped up like a freaking lake towable. Um Let's see here. So the next, so we are in Yard Sale Treasure Map, and you guys got to get the app. It's really good. I mean, obviously. So I color code my stuff, and uh, that might be one of those things that I show at the green room meetup. But let's look at the next garage sale, which is, uh, yeah, we're gonna go head to it right now. Here we go, dude. You started going forward. I, I, you didn't look for trash cans. I know. <clears throat> it's like whenever I move now, I'm gonna look for that dang trash can. I'm telling you, man. Freaking. Go for a trash can. Oh, there's a van right there. CP, van life. There you go. All right, so our next garage is somewhere down here. This looks like uh, projects or something. Bro, you need to get some Windex. Not from the inside. You might not be making any good money with eBay because clearly you can't afford any Windex. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, nice. Nice nice job. God, look at this. Look, what is this stuff on your window, dude? It's called dirt from mine going it's called on adventures. Cheddar. It's cheddar. Tree spooge. Cheddar. Okay, so here's the garage right there. Just park on somewhere we can get a good yeah, vantage point. Oh, it's got a lot of stuff. I mean, it could it could be interesting. Oh, Austinites. Nice. At least yeah. I see one right there. So we're gonna go check this one out. Let me put the camera right there. Let's go walk up to this thing. Let's do it. Oh man, see you need to get a trailer like this. This is where I, this is gonna be about two grand. Yeah, that, that's like two grand right there. It's a Coleman thing. Think about getting a little trailer to go camping in. Ooh, all kinds of stuff. Man, a lot of stuff. Whoa. Oh yeah, yeah. This is gonna be good. I already know it. All right. We found some really good finds. What's up, guys? Bonafide hustler here. Dude, we got some great finds in this garage sale, actually. So one of the things I got for a dollar, and this is gonna to go to my antique booth, is this. Look at this butterfly, man, isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. So if you go to South Congress, you could buy these things for about 
20 to 40 bucks a piece new and this thing is basically like mint so it'll go to my booth the, there's no real like how do i say it oxidation or wear and tear on the butterfly's wings this is beautiful so that's gonna go to my booth for about 20 bucks something like that it was a dollar and then uh, we got this awesome chest. I mean, it's huge and it's got all kinds of like stories and how do I say it? Like, like levels. It's got like stories in there. It's kind of weird. And it's really nice and reinforced. This was $10 guys, $10. So we are totally going to, uh, wow, there's a Duck Dynasty thing here on the side. We're totally, we're totally going to put this in the booth today, like before we get home, but it's beautiful. I'm gonna ask about a hundred to 200 bucks for this thing at the booth. I don't know what kind of chest it is, but I'm pretty sure this has something to do with it. But I can't see the label. Um, and usually you can kind of tell the, like, the locks on the chest. that the, the more ornate the lock becomes, yeah. the better the chest usually is. But this is a reinforced nice chest, like really nice. So definitely you can call it a steamer trunk, whatever, things like that. But mostly just an old chest. And someone's going to want this thing for sure for 100 plus. And then, where's that last find of ours? All oh, right there. We had to buy this. We'll probably give this to our neighbor who just like loved the last one that he oh, had. Oh, so much fun. Uh, but this is a unicycle. Nothing special, right? It's just a made in Japan unicycle with a 20 or 24 inch wheel. And I uh, bought it for five bucks, so could probably resell it for, I don't know, 40 bucks on the market. All right, start it. <laughs> Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. What is that from, guys? <laughs> Come on, come on. You gotta know, you gotta know. Uh, what else did you get there? This is the worst. They just threw that thing in. Yeah. Man, take your hat off if you're gonna become Batman. I'm e money. That's, that's it's like terrible. a little bit crooked. Man, you look like, I don't know, man. That's a, that's a really dumb looking Batman, dude. Why? Uh, everything's wrong like you have a tank top on that's the first thing like Batman does not have a tank top you're asking five I'm at three <laughs> how about what you mean in the middle at four dollars <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> next garage sale is right there I don't see much here this could be the cheddar winding down part of the day but let's you never know you never know all right so we found a cool score at this garage sale and uh, it's a score that has a little micro issue, but they are Nubs on Nubs brand, pretty much brand new, yeah. Chaco sandals. So we got these for four bucks. And where's the issue? Uh, it's just delaminating right here. It's a delam right there and a delam right, right, right there. But the bottom of these things you can see yeah. are Nubs on Nubs. So someone Still with some good sport. shugu yeah. is gonna see that and go, that's right. it, I'm, I'm buying it. So uh, yeah, five to four, Four to fifty or four to forty-five yeah, all day like in a padded flat rate. Hey, I think I left the shugu on the Batmobile. We need the shugu. <laughs> Bane's got the chacos. We need to we need to repair the chacos. Bane needs to have intact chacos. We just got done with this garage sale right here. I picked up some cool finds. Uh, four bucks, vintage pool balls. They're awesome, complete set. I mean, these are beautiful right there. So yeah, definitely had to pop on that. Put them in my booth for somewhere between 20 and 50 bucks. Just gotta do a little bit more research on these. And then I got a Garmin 305 right here. Training watch, it's four out of five stars on Amazon. It's like 30K in wireless, something like that is the ranking. So 400, 305, comes with the heart rate band, the training CD and the charging dock. So there you go. And uh, yeah, 10 bucks yielding 60 as a minimum. Uh, and cash return, so that's good. Um, and that means it's the 60 is probably just the the watch and maybe the charging dock. This one actually has the heart rate band and the training CD and everything like that. So, you know, maybe I can get 70, you never know. That's the thing about FBA is when you're looking at the uh, market price on the app, um, it's showing you the very bottom, right? The bottom person, and uh, a lot of times the bottom person is the most incomplete or scratched up unit or, you know, that kind of thing. So just think about that kind of stuff. When you find a more complete kind of thing, whether it be a camcorder or a video game or something like that, price it higher, okay? Higher than what you're seeing because the first one is always, usually, the most incomplete one. Okay, so we're in the center part of Austin, Texas now, like the heart of the city pretty much. This is Barton Springs Road that we're on. And uh, pretty, pretty day. You can see, uh, you know, corners like this are looking kind of dingy, right? That means someone bought this thing and it's ready to probably have a high rise like everything else in this town. But uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful intersection in town. The springs are just down that way. 
What's neat about this town is uh, the actual springs. It's definitely one of the, like, the jewels of the city, right? Barton Springs. Absolutely. And it's so hidden. Like if you didn't know how to find it, you would never find it. It's so recessed and hidden, but uh, it is on this road. I can't show you what it is, but it is off of this road. It's down a little valley kind of thing. And there's just this beautiful springs that has been there for a very, very long time. The water is consistently 65 degrees year round. And uh, it's just beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm really glad that this town now is charging yes. money, like a lot of money to like, not a lot of money, but if you're a resident of Austin, Austin Texas, you pay less than a visitor and considerably less. So that makes me happy because when you have something good, you don't want the entire world to just like tear it to pieces, you know? And there are a lot of people moving to this town. A lot of people are coming to Austin, Texas now and trying to live here. So the parking lot to the Springs is actually back there. And this is where people park right around this one area. And then the springs are down there. There's a booth way down there. And that's how you get in. And it's in a little valley down there. You can't see it from here. We got neighborhood wide garage sales. Apparently there's some community type thing going on right here um, at Barton Hills Drive. So we are getting close. Okay, it's this tiny thing. This, it's all of this. It's just, that's it. I thought it was gonna be way better. And it's just this community of apartments that brought their stuff together and put it right there. This could be one of our last sales of the day. Let's check it out. Decent score, a Wrangler Pearl Snap shirt. Look at that, a retro Pearl Snap shirt. It's not retro, but that's what they call the line. Brand new with tags, three bucks. This thing is awesome, size large. Nice, right? Yeah. Woo! That was a good score, good score. In my booth, that'll probably be like 20, 25. So not bad. Where are we? Uh, we're at the thrift store where you have to get the cart this time. Ah, oh, damn. We're at the Goodwill. Lake Austin Boulevard. Let's get in this bit. Oh, I almost said it. I almost said it, but I didn't do it. All right, so we didn't find anything that goodwill. You got to go in and you got to check stuff out. We definitely saw things there that, you know, could have been good, but we, we just didn't pull the trigger on any of that kind of stuff. We made a huge taco order and everything like that. We're going to do it to go today. Uh, we got plans later, but this was a good ride along. Guys, if you enjoyed the content, if you learned some things, whatever, then hit the like button. So important. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Easy Money's channel, which I'll link down below. And then that's pretty much it. We'll see you on the next Bonafide. We'll see you on the button. <laughs> We'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler ride along. Take it easy. Goodbye! Hey, it's going, on, guys. Hey, what's going on? Oh. All right, what's up? I just realized something. My wallet's in my truck. But we're going to a garage that was pretty close to the house. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the ride along. We have a special guest in the house today. Let's get right to it. What's going on guys, Bonafide Hustler here, and today we have a special guest, Francis, in the hot seat. What's up? Good morning, YouTube. Hey, Francis, where did we meet? At H-E-B. Costco. Oh. Oh, yeah. you mean a yeah. Yeah. yeah, where Costco, did we meet, man? Right at Costco in Austin. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I got spotted, um, here, well, let's, let me get in the spaceship right here. All right, so I got spotted in Costco from Francis, and I told him, uh, he's not part of the green room or anything like that, he's just a normal, you know, subscriber, and I told him, Let's go for a ride along. So that's what we're here like three weeks later, right? Right. Three right. weeks later and we're here. So Dang. we're gonna go garage sailing. Money, if you work right. if you work hardy money, you can get spotted too at Costco. Really? Oh. Okay. But you didn't work hard, so now you're not gonna get spotted. Oh thanks. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Francis? How's it going, Easy Money? Nice to meet there you. There it is. So you've seen him before, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. You like garage sailing? Love it. You love it? Love okay, it. do you do eBay and Amazon or? Uh, beginner, it, it, kinda? In beginner in the process of starting, you know, to eBay and, you know, Amazon. Cool. So. We're gonna kinda show you how it's done, what we do here, and then uh, have some fun today. Hey, I'm with the pro here, I'm with the best. <laughs> <laughs> He's with the best from That's Costco. Why I'm here. Best from Costco, <laughs> here we go. Did you get your wallet? Uh, it's actually in my, my spaceship. Which is at the house. Oh, well, I have money on me, though. All right, so. Anyway, let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go knock it out. I already have more than that in my pocket. Yes, I got a bunch. Since I'm not driving, it doesn't matter. The yard sale treasure map out. 
and uh, we're gonna go see what we can do today. I found some time yesterday to uh, actually start labeling my sails and a route and everything. So I wanna see what happens here. I tend to actually put colors to my sails and it dictates the times that they open. So green would be at 7 a.m. And here we are at 6.50 about 10 minutes early and we're gonna see if we can get into this sale. Are you okay with going early? No problem. <laughs> I'm all fired up. <laughs> I always like to mess with people that are in my hot seat. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, it's this one. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Let's see what this one says. Seriously huge garage sale. Uh oh. I don't like those. Hold on. Uh, 8714 Clear Brook, Brook Trail. Alright, hold on. Let's take a look here. Look at this. This is whoa, whoa, whoa! They got some good stuff already. See a whoa, fire truck. A light? There's a light. Yeah, there's a light for eBay picture stuff. Cool. Let's go check it out, guys. All right. So uh, this person is a retiring eBayer kind of person. There's nothing wrong with that, but they're still trying to get like eBay prices for their stuff. And I'm not gonna play that game. There's some good stuff here. It's just I just don't want it that bad. I mean, so the good thing is eMoney actually did pop on some lights that the lady used for her business. Eight dollars for those lights, and he's gonna be keeping that. E money. Look at this sun. I know, dude. Francis, this is a trivia question to you. <laughs> when I see sun like that, what am I thinking? Going to the beach. What? What did he say? Going to the beach. <laughs> okay. No. Go to the beach. It's pretty close. What does it smell like, though? Yeah. So, like in my videos, I don't know if you watch all of them, but we oh, call it cheddar weather. Oh, cheddar. <laughs> Yeah. Francis, do you know what cheddar weather is now? Yeah, I don't know. Matter of fact, I learned that last night. Uh, who you ride along with, Alan? Alan? Talking, Alan from, is it from uh, Tennessee or from where? Yeah. That, uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was here for three months or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you learned that. Oh, okay. You learned about the cheddar weather word the other night. There we go. Hey, man, it's a good term. You can't have it. It's fine. I mean, you can have it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> can they have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. It'll cost you. An arm and leg and a knee and an elbow. We had to make a pit stop at my house. I forgot my wallet in my car. I was just rushing around too much this morning. Anyway, um, so we got another garage sale. With the good part about this garage sale, it's only 706, is it's in central Austin. That's a really good thing already. We're gonna go check that one out. Um, there are a lot of sales today that are like multifamily or they appear to be really big or they look to be really big at the yard sale treasure map. Now, hopefully they are. You think they'll be really big, E-Money? Uh, well, which area of town are we going to? We're going to Central, Central Austin. I think they'll be all right. All right. Yeah, actually, probably pretty good. Okay. Francis, do you go to Central Austin for garage sales? Uh, or Fluger, do you stay in like the Pflugerville Round Rock? Up, yeah, I'm up north of Austin. Okay, okay. Well, we're about to show them Central Austin, which should be really good. So you hit up those uh, community-wide garage community, sales that are yep, round rock, in like, yeah. Park. Yeah. What's your best find so far? What's the best thing you've ever, ever flipped? Samsung refrigerator. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Dang, I'm like, I was like thinking it was going to be something small. I, I was like, oh, I just flipped the refrigerator. I what, paid, what, what, I paid yeah. 100 bucks for that thing. I took it home, cleaned it, and I turned around and flipped it for 800 800 Yep. It was double door fr uh, French door Samsung refrigerator. Dang, man. Why didn't you keep it? I already have one. So. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, it wasn't, it wasn't like I had to, you know, <laughs> drag that thing in the in the back of a pickup truck. Oh my gosh! Took it off the truck and clean it, and that, you know, it was it worth so, a day of work. Okay, a day of work, you got paid seven hundred bucks. Huh? Yeah, days of work. Yeah. One day of work, yeah, seven hundred dollars. It's yeah. pretty good, man. Yeah. yeah. I'd clean a fridge for seven hundred dollars. Why not? Did you load it up in the spaceship? See the problem is yeah. yeah. <laughs> the problem. See the problem is I have to clean a fridge like you know once a week. And I get paid nothing. <laughs> That's what really sucks. And you married life. Question for you. What? Ready? What's the question? Which aisle did y'all meet in Costco? Oh, that's a good question. Um, if if memory well, serves me well, correct. What was the context? What do you mean? What was the context? We were in Costco. No, no, no. But like. Obviously, Francis was like, hey, it's Bonafide Hustler. Oh, I think he just yeah. came up to me and said, Or was it you, not? Are you the Bonafide or something okay. like that? Yeah. I'm you, the Bonafide. You were there 
looking for something. <laughs> and yeah. you don't remember, Chris? I was there looking for something with you know big and quantity. I up and then... Yeah, I, I think we were in the pasta aisle, even though I don't like pasta. I was just zooming through it. Maybe the season. Yeah. <laughs> the season. Yeah, this guy really knows where I was. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the seasoning aisle. Yeah. Maybe, as in like probably, as in yes, you were. I gotta figure out where 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 would I have to be spotted to where I know I made it in YouTube land. The gym. I'll tell you where I need to be spotted. Like oh, oh, a distant island, okay. a, a distant mm -hmm. island. Let's say off uh, New Zealand. No, I would say one uh, of the thousand Filipino islands out there. If I get spotted on one deserted island, I'd be like, okay, now you made it, right? I'd probably say like a third world country farm or something like that. Okay, okay. Where they're like planting radishes on the hillside. Okay. What about a two-person spacecraft headed to Mars? No. You I sure? Highly unlikely. Well, if I got spotted there, then you would know I made it. Because there's only two people in the spacecraft. You were one, I would be one of them. That wouldn't make any sense. No, of course it would. They if haven't the, created If it's a potluck yet. scenario, and I just got someone else. But what would be the chances of like the two of us heading to Mars? It's not about chances. Like, what's the point of it's us? It's not you. You're not in the are spaceship. We, we, it's potluck. I already know you. Are we, are we like flying to Mars to hustle? <laughs> no, hustle Mars? we're driving to Mars. We're hustling like Martians? <laughs> Dude, your brain is like on, on this like weird level. I can't even make the analogy now. Or I can't even like relate. Now my brain's hurting. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with this guy? But yeah, if I was in a spacecraft with a potluck person and I got spotted and they knew who I was, I'd say I made it at that point on YouTube. That's my point. That's my he point. He made it. He made it. What movie, guys? He made it. That should be a pretty easy one. 1980s flick. Oh, yeah, big. last time. Okay, let's see. Well, that was also like two years ago, so we gotta say it again. We love that. We love that film. Love it. Francis, how old are you? Do I have to say? You can make up. You can make up an age if you want. Real old. Are you real old? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So well, let me ask you this: What are you? Were you born in the 70s? 60s? Oh. Mid 60s. Man. Okay. Yeah, man. What was your favorite uh, movie from back in the day? Like, this is a movie that you can watch over and over and over and over. What's your favorite movie? Uh, yes, I'm not question mark over there yet. All right, think about it. Scarface. Okay, what did you say? Scarface. Scarface, man. This guy, this guy's a little Tony Montana lover here. That's good. <laughs> so you like Scarface a lot? Yeah. You yeah, watched it a lot? Over probably about a dozen times. Okay, so a dozen. Okay, okay. Love Al Pacino. Al Pacino is good. He is good. <laughs> There's so many good parts of it. Oh my god. Anyway, mine would have to be, I don't know, like anytime Goonies comes on, for some reason I would watch it and watch it and watch it. I'll still watch it. Is Goonies pretty good? It's one of my all time favorites. Yep. It is super good. Next sale, that's ours right there. We're gonna head right to it. All right, there should be a garage sale somewhere down here. I see a lot of cars already, so my guess is it's somewhere in that vicinity right there. Let's go check it out, never know. All right, we're leaving that garage sale. We didn't want to bring the camera in or anything. Some good potential there, except just wasn't any chance to make any money, so we just, we left. And so now we're on our way to another garage sale. It's still 7.27 in the morning, and uh, our next garage sale is like, two or three minutes away so let's see if we can make any money there here's our next one right here it looks interesting there's a kid involved some toys and some board games all right never know might be good oh, man, i'm telling you super strikeout all right next garage sale is somewhere around here we have to pray we have to pray pray to the cheddar gods pray i can't put my hands together and film at the same time but we got to pray to the cheddar gods give us some money give us some money come on um it's somewhere around here take a look just be careful. It's somewhere right there. There it is. There it is. Oh, well, it looks interesting. Oh. Uh, yeah, I got a TI-83 Plus calculator. I'm, I haven't looked this up, but usually on eBay, what, 30 to 40 bucks right here? So not a bad buy. Five bucks. Actually, I spent $3 on that one. And uh, let's check it out. Green room pen from our meetup right there. Sweet. So putting this into my log. Next garage show, let's go. I don't know if we've been to it, but we're about yeah. to go to it. I can't get this, the film angle here, but anyway, I'll show you what we find if we find anything. And that garage sale 
I found three shirts. One is a Darkness Concert t-shirt, 2012. I've seen this band twice in my life. It's one of my favorite bands of all time. Got this shirt for myself. That's my cool colors. Rip, probably yeah. gonna rip the, shirt, the sleeves off and wear it. Yeah, I love this shirt. Anyway, I love this band. So, other one I found this is really interesting. And E-Money, you just, you, you flipped it, you passed it by, and I thought, definitely worth buying. But this is a, I believe it's a Hanes Heavyweight. Let me see, or it's a Fruit of, okay, so this is a Fruit of the Loom. Like, you can tell what these collars are like this. You know, we're, we're dealing with a vintage shirt for sure. It's a really big, fat collar. Vintage Boston Marathon shirt, dude. Those colors remind me of like the Huffy awesome? White Heat like, yeah. bike frame. It's like super awesome. So yeah, a Boston Marathon t-shirt? Never know. This could be like a $20 shirt. Never know. I decided to take a swing on that. And then this one right here, I love the colors of these 90s kind of like dragster yeah, type stuff. That Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. That's a good one right there. So in the booth, this one right here. It hasn't even like, started to like crack at all. Yeah, you barely. can see that fat, fat like, see the collar? Anyway, so this one right here, probably 14 to 20 in my booth. And then the Boston Marathon one is probably going to make its way on eBay. The Darkness one is in my possession. And I don't know. We just got to check it out because it's like one second. Let's just go do it real quick. Man, your windows are like, have you seen better days, man? Nothing of that one. Okay, my money's on this garage sale, 100%. It has to be good. Right, Francis? I hope so. <laughs> is that it? Are they taking stuff out? Maybe, hold on. No, it's at the it's at the yeah. end of the street. I know there's a knee board, we got hats. Oh, okay, right. this is gonna okay. be good. I already know yep, it. This I is like gonna it. be good. This is our stuff. Hundred percent. I see boots. I see a lot of good stuff. First from the garage sale, two dollars. Cabela's uh, Gore-Tex and insulated hunting boots. Killer score. I'm um, gonna shoot for about fifty to seventy on these. Um, maybe a little bit. More, we'll see, but I'm thinking 50 to 70 bucks comfortably. E-Money now is $9 officially in the hole today. <laughs> he bought a pair of board shorts that I spotted out for him. They look pretty good. Oh my gosh, we totally just saw this place. Oh my gosh, look at this. Thing, as man. we were coming up, hold on. We just saw this place as we were coming up to uh, that last garage sale. Another dopio we've never tried before. Russell's Bakery and Coffee Bar. Definitely gonna go check it out. It smells good in here. Crack it open. Yeah. Hey, first of all, let's let's do a uh, a thank you to Francis because yeah. Francis bought them. Thank you. Thanks, oh, man. Guys. Yeah. Dude, you look like an '80s action hero back there, like ready to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Like he's got this yeah, long. I know. He has this long hair and these glasses and everything. Man, <laughs> we're about to die, you money. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look at what this wow. looks like. This smells pretty good from that electronic machine. Ooh. There it is. All right. So you've never had a dopio? Never. First time. Come up here, man. All right. It smells Cheers. Good. Thank you Cheers. so much. Thank you. So, friendship. All right. Ah! What does it taste like? Coffee. Heavy. It's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. What does a Francis ah sound like? <laughs> <laughs> describe it to someone out there that's never had a dopio. How would you describe this? Bitter. Strong. Oh, okay. yeah, it's good. It's not, yeah. You give us mm. about a one ah. You're gonna feel good in about 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to jump out of the truck. Is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is this as good at uh, the place to go? No, no. Uh, Thunder is, different. Different. is yeah, really, really, really good. good. Yeah, better. This is yeah. like a triple shot espresso. We'll have you. We'll, we'll definitely get you again in the spaceship, um, and we'll go to Thunderbird definitely, one day. Definitely. There's only two real good ones in Austin. Hmm. All right, now we're caffeined up. I'll have to finish it up. Right? Well, you can sip oh, it if you oh, want. Okay. Right, we just pounded it down. We pounded it down, this one's like Let's get some garage sales. Garage sale there. Still can't get any footage of this. We'll show you what we find. We've all agreed in the car here that this is going to be probably a pretty decent one. We'll see. I see teepees and kids stuff outside, so we Maybe could games. have like uh, games and weird stuff like that. You never know. Oh my gosh, please come through garage sale, please. This looks terrible. Oh my gosh. I don't want to go to this one. I don't either. This one looks really bad. Okay, never mind. Like, it, already, it already has failed us. Yep. We haven't even like got far into it. Okay, hold on. Okay, um, straight, then go right. Our next garage sale is right there. Uh, okay, this looks okay. We'll try this one. Garage sale over there. I did pop on one thing. These are vintage Novara panniers. Basically, you can think of this as the side bags for a bike. They look like they're in pretty good condition. Comps are around 50 bucks, but I'm gonna try to aim for a hundred. 
I probably won't get a hundred, but we'll see. You know, like this got good color and they're not many really available. So I'm gonna aim for a hundred and maybe settle for around 70 or 80. All right, so we're taking a left and it should be around here. There's a dude that's leaving the entire country or something like selling all, selling all possessions. So maybe this is gonna be good. Uh, came upon a whim, decided to take a, a stab at it. It's somewhere around here. Could be good, I don't know. Oh, there's really not much of a viewpoint here, so we'll yeah. see. All right, so another strikeout, and honestly, I'm gonna try to air this video. I'm definitely gonna edit it because this is part of reselling life is that sometimes there's just strikeout central, right? Um, so we're gonna try for maybe one or two more. It's only like 9.20 in the morning. We've seen a ton of garage sales. So show, many though. today. Yeah, it's not like we haven't put the work in. Like we've done the work, we've done the planning, just sometimes it doesn't work out, guys. So we're gonna try a little bit more and then it's taco time. At the Goodwill, we're at the Goodwill of South Lamar. I can't believe this day is turning out so terrible. Free hat, is that a good it hat? It is what it is, free hat. Is it a good hat? It's a A's hat, I don't know. I'm not picking it up. But anyway, so yeah, I can't believe this day is turning out to be so terrible, but we'll go to this Goodwill. Let's see if we can find anything here. This is one of our last resort, last case resort here, our last resort. This is it, we'll see what happens. I don't think it's gonna play out. The whole day has been terrible, but never know. I'm determined to find something here. I didn't leave empty handed. I'm actually gonna watch this DVD series. This is a wakeboarding five disc collection called The Book. It's actually pretty good, I've owned it before. And I bought it for two bucks. I'm gonna watch it and watch it and watch it and I'm gonna sell it for about 20. So um, that's what it's called, The Book. It's a wakeboard series, there's five discs inside and it tells you basically how to ride really, really well. Um, E-Money in there actually found an awesome video game that's probably worth about 30 to 35 bucks. So we'll see that in one second. You ready for tacos, Francis? Ready. Found. Ooh, it college, survived. college picker would be proud of you. Yep, he would be. Pikmin, look at that. Yep. How much is it on FBA after fees? Uh, I looked at it before fees, 35. After fees, it is 27. 27.16, yeah. nice. There you go. So I'm how much you spend? How much you hole. spend? Uh, 6.48. 6.48, man. Yeah. The other one. Taxing. Other one, yeah. yeah, I know. So they're super taxing at this good one. My God. Things. He's never had Taco Deli before, have you? Nope. Oh, first time. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. Yes. So this is your first time, right? First time. All right, man. It's the first time for everything. Sitting here, you got, our, you got one of the awesome tables outside. There's E-Money. All right, so the tacos have arrived. What do you think, Francis? Pretty good? Awesome, this yeah. is the best. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, man. Yeah, there we are, man. We got tacos on deck. Oh, looks good, man. All right, so we're done with Taco Deli. This pretty much concludes the ride along. Got other stuff to take care of today, but I wanted to take one second and thank you guys for being on this video. Say hi to Francis on the comments. Thank and you, Chris. Thank yo, you. you're welcome, man. Thank you're welcome. Us, taking me along. You're welcome. Hey, was it really the best tacos? The or, best. The best. <laughs> so good that you had to take some home. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> I have proof right here. He has proof. That's the that's the only subscriber I've ever taken on a ride along. But ate a taco deli, liked it so much, and, and, and ordered and more. And yep. he had a dope That's kind of like a Steve tactic. Steve does that. Steve Rakin does that, by the way. Oh, it? Yeah, he loves it so much that he gets something to go, and then he eats it right then and there. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button. I'll see you on the next Bonafide Duster video. Take it easy. Goodbye.